The Rockford Ice Hawks take on the Grand Rapids Griffins tonight on Country Night out at BMO Harris Bank Center. But tonight they also get a valuable piece back in the lineup and for Terry Broadhurst. Hello, everybody. Joseph Zakrzewski with you for the Rockford Ice Hawks Broadcast Network. And Terry, obviously happy to be back in the lineup, but the Hogs right in the thick of the hunt. So you're jumping right back in pretty much where you left off. And uh, how excited are you to get going again here against a, a pretty big team in the Central Division in Grand Rapids? Yeah, obviously uh, it's good to be back. Um, just excited to get out there and help the team uh, any way I can. Obviously, this is the fun part of the year, playing me meaningful game so uh, you know one game at a time it's lots on the line and uh, do our best we can to win. Now you've seen this Ice Hogs bunch a lot this year in terms of how they've been able to battle through a lot of different situations. They got some teams right behind them in the rearview mirror in terms of the standings obviously looking to gain some ground. How do you keep that mental preparation moving forward? Obviously if you ask the coaching staff you've been playing playoff hockey since December so how do you keep that train continuing to push forward? Uh, I think it's just not overthinking and sticking to our game. Um, you know we talk about it a lot every game uh, you know, we'll, we'll go over it, but then we leave it behind. It's not worrying about uh, what's in the future, what's in the past, just worried about what we can control, and that's the game in front of us and uh, sticking to the game plan. Well, that game is Grand Rapids here tonight, and for the Ice Hogs, obviously you got some nice practice time here these last couple of days. It looks like you're going to have more practice time next week. Kind of rare to have that in this time of year in terms of just how quickly games kind of churn out throughout the regular season. What's going to be the mindset in terms of being a, a leader in that room and trying to address the needs for this Ice Hog group to take that advantage of that practice time? Yeah, I think you said it. Um, you know, you want to use that time to your advantage and uh, do your best you can to clean up areas of your game. At the same time, I think it's great to have a little bit of recovery time for the body and the mind. Um, obviously, after that little stretch of uh, time off, which is practice, we've uh, got a pretty thick schedule. So, um, you know, tonight's the focus, but then after that, we'll uh, address some of the things we need to clean up and uh, work better at and obviously recover the bodies and minds getting ready for the final stretch. I think I heard the coaching staff even say that rest can be a weapon at times. I'd imagine that guys in that locker room are using, utilizing that when it's given to them. Yeah, absolutely. Like you said, it's not too often you get that type of uh, stretch where you're not playing games. So, you know, that's the key is using that to your advantage. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a dogfight to the end. So we need to take care of that and uh, take care of ourselves with time off. Well, it is officially the month of March, which means it's playoff stretch time. you got a lot of pundits and media members like myself keeping an eye on the standings and the points and all the ifs and what happens. But is that something that happens in the locker room? Do you open up the stat sheet and say, okay, hey, we got this much of a lead or we got this team playing tonight, but maybe these guys got games in hand? How does the locker room approach it? Uh, a little bit. Um, again, you know, there's just certain things you can't control, and that's whether or not the teams that are chasing you win or lose, right? So to spend too much time focusing on that takes away time from you focusing on what your job is and uh, – individually what you contribute to the team and as a team just uh, controlling what you can control to play your best hockey and you know we think if we do that we're going to win majority of our game so uh, I, you know I'd be lying if you say you don't look at it from time to time but it's definitely not our concern we're just more focused on uh, ourselves the guys in the room and taking care of what we can on the ice when we play. Well Terry I appreciate your time good luck tonight yeah. against the Griffins. Thank you. For Terry Broder joining us on the Rockford Ice Hawks broadcast network puck drop just right around the corner as the Ice Hawks host the Griffins on country night here at BMO Harris Bank Center. You're listening and watching Rockford Ice Hawks hockey on the Ice Hawks broadcast network.